Finally back from MAGFest, so I wanted to record a few thoughts before I run off to bed. I was not there professionally, I was there for, well, for other reasons. It's weird being at a convention when you don't have anything formally scheduled for yourself. Subcontracting for the 21 Plus community meant that we had planned to do something there. Unfortunately, big surprise to us, that got turned down. But there's this interesting programming space uh, that's part of the makerspace called the Soapbox, and it runs overnight about midnight to six, at least it did this year, and the idea is anyone can come in and spend five, 10, maybe I think 15 minutes is the maximum, making a presentation about whatever you want. So it was cool because it created an opportunity for us to still do something, and uh, I like it just in general, conceptually, because I think it like provides this little outlet as well as just something that people could do for fun. I spent quite a bit of time in the indie game room. All kinds of stuff in there. People bringing in independently developed arcade games, people bringing in other types of platforms. I bought a copy of a game called, uh, I think it's called Super Marxist Brothers. It's like a Soviet parody of the Super Mario Brothers. Look for a video on that sometime soon. I got to play in development versions of a couple games, including one called Flowerpot Forklift. The name alone was what intrigued me. I'm not entirely clear on the direction they're really going with the game, but it was fun to play for a few minutes. I can't remember the name of it, but there was this game that they had set up with an upturned bicycle as an interface for their game, which took me a good several tries to actually figure out how how it was supposed to work, but even then, uh, it was very cumbersome, but really interesting to try out. Unfortunately, I didn't get any footage of me actually playing the game, but there was also this arcade cabinet called Hair Na, and the idea is you use motion capture to just slap away hands that are trying to touch your hair. Cool intersection of social commentary with gaming. The indie and demo section is one of the things that I really like about MAGFest. I also like spending a lot of time in the museum section, not only because they have some really cool arcade cabinets that uh, are not quite as in high demand, but the really old game consoles and the really old computers are all back there and you can experience a whole bunch of stuff, some of which even predates my own you know, lifespan. As some of you are aware, I have this really big fascination with old technology, and I like being able to experience that, even if it's just for a few minutes. Some of you know that I like the history of fandom, and one of the things that I find special about MAGFest is that they make space for kind of a little bit of everything. Historically, a lot of things that would be in like the homebrew section or the indie section would almost be like their own little nerd conference, sometimes held in places like college campuses and stuff. And I'm not saying that no one else does it, but MAGFest was the first of big event that I went to that combined the traditional aspects of things like the indie development of homebrew with modern gaming culture. And I feel like a lot of events lose sight of those smaller things in favor of, well, the things that will please the most number of people most of the time. But if you were going to ask me what are things that I should do at my first MAGFest, I would put at the top of the list, spend as much time in the indie section and the museum as possible. It's great to have a hands-on way to understand how far we've come, not just in the game tech itself, but also socially. It really gives you a perspective as a video game player. Someday I hope to be at MAGFest professionally, but until that day it's still a pretty great way to kick off a year and open up the actual con season starting with Ichiban Con next week. So I hope some of you are excited for that. I know I am. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye bye